When a patient shows signs of a bloodstream infection, a physician will likely order a blood culture test. A blood sample is collected in two special bottles, one that fosters the growth of aerobic microbes and the other anaerobic microbes. Any microorganisms present in the sample will grow and return a positive test result, which may inform a diagnosis and trigger antibiotic therapy. However, the clinical value of blood culture testing may be compromised by improper collection technique. For example, if not enough blood is collected, a false negative may occur, allowing the infection to go undiagnosed and antibiotics to be held or discontinued, putting the patient at higher risk of sepsis. Likewise, a positive blood culture result may not indicate a bloodstream infection at all, but rather a false positive due to specimen contamination. Contaminants can come from patient skin, clinician hands, blood culture bottle tops, attachment or detachment of transfer components, an existing intravenous line. In fact, approximately 30% of the patients who test positive do not have a bloodstream infection. Hospitals strive to stay below a 3% false positive blood culture rate, but this goal still allows for far too many events forcing physicians into a guessing game to decide if the organism discovered is a true threat. Guessing wrong can have terrible consequences. A patient may experience unnecessary stress, longer hospital stays, exposure to unneeded antibiotics, and adverse events. Hospitals absorb the cost of additional staff time, testing, treatment, and extended stays. Just one contaminated culture can add three to four days and up to $10,000 in costs. But if the patient develops a hospital-acquired condition during the extended stay, that cost could be much higher. 